domestic abuse against husbands one man came to me and he said he said i was beaten and i was hurt and struck so much that i can no longer reproduce and i'm, I'm telling you straight that's not a laughing matter that's a very very serious issue if that's happening in within people's homes people are living war zones within their own homes my dear brothers and sisters where's that phrase gone it seems like it's disappeared in 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 mid-air home sweet home but if people think about their homes and all they think is oh god i have to go back home it's going to be another war zone what type of home is that what type of relationship is that what type of marriage is that what we have to turn away from and move away from is this modern day uh, understanding of marriage it's him versus her it's me versus you that's what people do in offices that's what people do in their workplaces that they compete against each other to get higher positions this is not a competition this is not a, a workplace where people want to get extra earnings this is a place where people are living together mutually understanding each other and making uh, uh making a beautiful home one of the cases that came to me was of a man who said that his wife insulted him and abused him uh verbally so much in front of he, in front of their own children that he lost self esteem that he lost self confidence and he was actually contemplating suicide because he thought he wasn't worth anything he thought so lowly of him, his own self that he he wanted to commit suicide and he came to me and he told me he said that his wife was scrolling up and down facebook and twitter and instagram and and snapchat and looking at other people even from amongst her friends and seeing that their husbands were taking them on holiday and buying them presents and living in big mansions etc and after seeing all of that feed she would come and take it out on me and say Look at so and so. Her husband's taking them on holiday. Look at so and so. Her husband's bought her. Uh, her husband's bought her a beautiful car. What have you ever given me? What have you ever done for me? Totally denying that this husband has never done anything for the wife. That's totally wrong. Now this person thought, but I've been feeding the household. I've been paying the bills. I've been. Uh, I've been working day and night. just to maintain and look after my family that i love so much and cherish so much but this is what i get in return i think why do i even work why do i even live what we have to understand is for men they have emotions just like women but they find it much more difficult to express their emotions and speak about their emotions so you can understand that this man actually coming to me and speaking to me about his case it must have reached the highest extremity and obviously it did because he said he was contemplating suicide he thought his life was not worth living his his life was not worth living because his own wife was treating him like this abusing him and insulting him in front of his own children he was thinking what are my th children thinking that i'm a useless husband i don't bring anything to the home i don't care for my wife etc etc and this is just one case i had a case of a uh, of a husband of a man who came to me and said he said my wife is threatening me and you know what she's threatening me with she's saying while well, if you don't do this and this and this i'll just make a claim against you with the police and take the kids and you'll never see them again my dear brothers and sisters this is injustice this is haram this is not allowed let alone not allowed in islam this is not allowed in any type of morality any type of humanity to 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 threaten the father of these children to threaten one's own husband and say well i'll take them away what are you going to do about it they most probably listen to me more than they listen to you and these cases of domestic violence against husbands are going sky high especially in times of lockdown when both husband and wife are at home perhaps the husband's working from home and and they've not really spent so much time 24 hours a day together people need to adjust people need to realize when i'm single i'm not married i live my own life i live all alone i do how i wish but when people get married there's a way of living there's a conduct people need to understand there's somebody else in my life i need to uh, i need to accommodate them i need to appreciate them i need to think about them 
and not only think about the types of food that I like, the types of clothing that I like, the type, the places that I like to go to. But now a person has to think twofold. A person has to think about themselves and think about their spouse. And the most important thing in marriage is respect. The husband has to respect the wife and the wife has to respect the husband. When this respect exists in a relationship, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends his mawadda, his love and rahmah into that marriage in a way that both of them are one unit. They are no longer two different people, me versus you and him versus her. It's us, it's we. And that's what we need to understand. So there has to be respect and honor from the wife towards the husband, just the way there has to be respect and honor from the husband towards the wife.